What's going on YouTube? What's going on Knicks fans and family? This is Mustafa Love with Hearthstone Media. Thanks for tuning in again. But if it's your first time checking out the channel, you're mad late because I make Knicks videos like this all the time. But without further ado, let's give a shout out, first of all, to my New York Yankees. Let's take this bit. Just knocking it all over and around the park. Donaldson lifts that in the air to left field and deep. Sawinski will watch it fly. Now Gallo absolutely unloads. Where will it land? Higashioka smashes one to center field. Reynolds will watch it go. Judge hammers that high, deep, and grand. Aaron Judge clears the bases. And they just crank out another 16 to nothing win versus the Pirates with Aaron Judge knocking in his 30th home run in Grand Salami fashion so shout out to my new york yankees uh i don't talk about them much because you know the baseball season comes so fast and furious i don't have time to talk about them but i'm a diehard yankees fan and been watching you guys shout out to you and, and keep up the good work on our way to the world series so now let's get to the topic at hand i think the knicks have kind of sort of righted the ship for the wrong that was the mitchell robinson conundrum for the past couple of seasons learning from their mistakes and taking a moment to lock up young mr jericho sims on a very team friendly deal Three years, $5.7 million contract, getting him off of his two-way deal and showing that they can still draft and, and get quality players late in the draft. Guys that they're hopefully going to retain and develop. Jericho Sims was a steal. Maybe the steal of the draft in a few years. We'll know maybe he's the steal of the draft. Hopefully he can develop into a guy that's more than just a rim runner. But right now, it, as a solid big body big who can go up and catch lobs and, and block shots and give you a good solid presence down low, as a rookie, he flashed a lot of upside. And I think that's going to continue to go. Now he's locked up. He's not playing for lunch money anymore. He's not going to have a roommate situation like Mitchell Robinson was probably forced to live in over the past two or three years, making a million dollars a year. He's getting a little bit more than that secure his future a little bit more so i'm happy that the knicks made this move got this deal done so he doesn't have to see guys you know just making money all around him bringing in new guys and making triple what he makes i think this will motivate the young man if he's not already motivated and i think he's gonna earn that money and not just sit back after he's gotten a little bit of ducats and uh kind of like fall to the wayside i think he's gonna continue to improve we got him now three years at, at again very team friendly deal not giving another team to see his potential and then snatch him up or you know two years from now we're looking at a, a situation where we might lose him or have to pay him five or six million dollars we got him for the foreseeable future i'm super happy about it i'm super psyched let me know what your thoughts are in the comments Knicks fans are you happy about us locking up jericho sims three years what are we going to do with taj gibson now because now taj being an odd man now with that fourth guy in the center rotation but i will say this we are very slim at power forward and taj showing that he can stretch his game out to the three-point line this prior season maybe he's just a stretch big option who could come in and play some four for us next to mitch or hardenstein or in a small ball lineup i think taj will find minutes on the course because he's a tip guy and if not i still need taj on that bench man taj is the glue we need to keep him on the team and and, and again knicks fans let me know your thoughts in the comments that's what i'm really here for and guys i'm out one